Hello boys and girls and thank you for joining me for Little Lamb's Badge. Today we're going to earn a badge in Community Helpers and the Community Helpers Badge is very interesting especially since we have so many Community Helpers that are helping us now with this coronavirus. Have you heard your parents talking about it? Well we have a whole lot of Community Helpers that are helping us just now so we want to earn our badge in Community Helpers. Don't you want to earn your badge? Well, let's listen to this wonderful story. All firemen have courage, but it can't be known until the test how many have this particular kind of courage. Mm -hmm. Bill Brown's kind of courage. What happened was this. Engine 29, remember that? Engine 29, pumping and pounding her prettiest, stood at the northwest corner of Greenwich and Warren Streets, so close to the blazing drugstore that driver Marks thought it wasn't safe there for the three horses and led them away. That was, unfor that was fortunate, but it left Brown alone, right against the cheek of the fire, watching his broiler, stoking the coil, keeping his engine gauge at 75, as the fire gained, chunks of red-hot sandstone began to smash down on the engine. Brown ran his pressure up to 80 and watched the door anxiously where the boys had gone in. Then the explosion came, and a blue flame, wide as a house, curled its tongues halfway across the street, engulfing the engine and the man, setting fire to the elevated railroad station just ahead. Or... Such such a wreck of this had shook everyone. And then, poof. Bill Brown stood by his engine with the wall of fire before him and a sheet of fire above him. He heard quick footsteps on the pavement and voices that grew fainter and fainter, crying, Run for your lives! He heard the horse wagon, horses somewhere back, way back in the smoke, going plunging away mad with fright and their burns he was alone with the fire and his skin was starting to hang in shreds on his face and on his hands and on his neck only a fireman knows how one blast of a flame can shrivel up a man and the pain over the barred surfaces was well there's no pain worse than that of a fire scorching in upon somebody and quickly searing their, their skin by fire. Here, I think, was where the crisis was to make a very brave man quail. Bill Brown knew perfectly well why everyone was running. There was going to be another explosion in a couple of minutes, maybe sooner. Out of this came another one in front of him and the order had come for every man to save himself and every man had to do it if they wanted to survive the question was should he run or should he stay and die it was tolerable since since it was tolerably certain that he would die if he stayed on the other hand the boys of the old 29 were in there Devaney, MacArthur, Gilman, Moran, all his friends, all his buddies. He seen them drag the hose in through that door. And there it was now, a long throbbing snake of it. And they hadn't come out. Perhaps they were dead. Yes, perhaps they weren't going to make it. But if they were alive, they needed water now more than ever. They needed anything before they could just survive. And now they couldn't get water in if he quit his engine. Bill Brown pounded, pondered on this a very long time, perhaps four whole seconds. Then he fell into the stoking of the coal. He screwed up another notch, eased her running parts with the oiler, explosion or not, pain or not, alone or not. He was going to stay and make sure that the engine would hum. He had done the greatest thing a man could do. He had offered his life for his friends. It is pleasant to know that this sacrifice was averted. A quarter of a minute or so before the second and terrible explosion, Devaney and his men came staggering from the building. Then it was 
that Moran fell, MacArthur checked his, checked his fight to save his life. Then, enough, but not until that, Bill, Bill Brown left the engine 29 to her fate. She was crushed by the falling walls and ran for his life with his comrades. He waited for them. He stood the test and he did not let his friends die alone. Do you know somebody else, boys and girls, that stands the test with us and they won't let us be by ourselves no matter how much they have to suffer? Do you know somebody? I know somebody. Can you tell me who that person is? Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Jesus will never leave your side no matter how bad the test is, no matter how hot the fire is, no matter how much you can get burned or he can get hurt. He's not going to leave us alone. No, he won't. He'll make sure that we come out alive and safe because he's always with us, always with us. So let's pretend to be some community helpers. And I want to ask somebody to come and help me. Blanca Olivia, what community helper would you like to be today? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. What community helper would you like to be? I like to be... Doctor. A doctor. That's an awesome community helper. And what do doctors check? They check people. They check their what? Heart. Their hearts? What about... Their fevers. Their fevers. What if you're going... <coughs> do they check for that too? Yeah. They yes. They, they stay cough. Yes, they check your coughs. And then if you have a cold, they give you something, right? Yeah, Some medicine. Yeah, they give you yucky medicine. Medicine, yes. It's yucky. So who else is a community helper? Can you think of anybody else yeah, as a community yeah. helper? Who? A veteran. A veterinarian, yes. And what do they take care of? They, they take care of doggies. Dogs, cats, all animals, right? And, and lizards. And snakes. And bunnies. And bunnies. And rabbits. And rabbits, and yes. And camels. And camels. Veterinarians, sometimes they take care of camels, or sometimes those are called zookeepers. Yeah. So, after we play that game, and you can continue to play that game with your moms and dads at home, but I want to do another activity. So, can we do an art project together, boys and girls? I think we can. Okay, so with our art project, you're going to get out a piece of construction paper, we have green construction paper, and you're gonna need two crowns. Count them for me, Olivia. One and two. You're gonna need two different colored crowns, okay? And so us. with your first crown, you're gonna write your ABCs down the paper. So write A through K down this paper. A, B, C, all the way through K. A, B, C, D. G. Mm hmm G. H. I. J. I forgot how a J goes. Okay, let's get some help. Okay, no problem. J. J. K. <laughs> okay, let's do L, okay? Can you do yeah. L for me too? Yeah. L. L. M. M. No, M, M, M. There you go. M. Now put, okay, now on the other side, do N through the end of the alphabet. N. Start with N. Scoot over, uh-uh. Scoot over right here. N. Yep, right there. N. N. O. Keep going down the line. O. O. P. Q. R. O. S. S. T. T. U. V. W. W. X. X. Y. Z. Z. Okay. Awesome. You did a great job. Now, 
next to every letter of the alphabet. Oh. With your pen, with your other crayon next to every letter of the alphabet, we're going to write a community helper that starts with that letter in the alphabet. So what's a community helper that starts with the letter A? An um, animal keeper. An animal keeper? Yeah. Okay. Animal. A N A N I I M A M A A L L you're going to have to write a little smaller, okay? K E E P E R. A little smaller. Good job. Animal okay. Keeper. So what about B? What's a helper that starts with the letter B? Uh, What about a bookkeeper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bookkeeper. B. B. O. 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 K. And then another K. K. E. 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 P. E. R. P. Bookkeeper. Good. Okay. This is wonderful, Olivia. You did a great job. Now look at all of these people that help us in our community, from animal keeper to zookeeper. We even have a yard helper and an ICU worker. There's a wonderfully, a lot of people that help us in the community, right, Olivia? Yes. Yes. So let's pray and thank all of these wonderful people for helping us. Can you thank all these people for helping us, Olivia? Yes. Okay, go ahead and pray for us. Dear Lord, we thank you for all um, these people that help our pets and help pets that don't that need a home. We thank we thank you that all the doctors are be able to help people that have the coronavirus. Please help these people to not get the coronavirus if it comes ever again. Please help us to not go out and please help us to not lie to each other and please help us to not lie to you because you know that we lie and thank you for our moms, our dads and our sisters and brothers that we have. Just a wonderful Thank prayer, you. Olivia. I'm so Thank glad that you. you prayed for us today. And now we are going to just look at our artwork and... Thank you for coming by and enjoying this time. Really enjoy doing this with you and hope that you had a fun time earning your community helper's badge, mm -hmm. listening to the story, doing your craft, and just having a wonderful time with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye, Olivia. Bye. It was wonderful having you. Enjoy your badge.